to a full team play. So this time, as I said, we're going to have a 6-6, six, six, which is a full team on each side, and attackers are under pressure. The attackers, if the yellow are the attackers, they are going to be under pressure. They have five seconds, five seconds only before throwing uh, or shooting, before passing or uh, shooting. So that's transition play. And then the blue team, if they have the ball, will have just the same, five seconds. So in terms of defense, if the blues, uh, if the yellow scores um, within that time, um, they, um, the, the score is multiplied by two, you get two points. So if you take the blue team, we have Manzale, he's an exclusive defender. Yan is a, a center player. Uh, and he's, let's just assume he's not a very good defender. So he's the one who goes out every single time. On the yellow team, Johan is our defender, and Tommy is uh, the center player, who is, again, not playing very well. So he's the one who would be stepping out. The first objective is to score rapidly. If, for some reason, uh, uh, they can reposition themselves with the yellow players, uh, the five plus Tommy, then we're going to organize ourselves to put them into a, a difficult situation. That's what you do when we do video preparation, when we prepare on a team, uh, when we prepare to play a team which has had ch a change or uh, two changes. Uh, but that's no, not really how you can wanna, uh, win a game. Uh, what you want is to attack, attack and make, uh, make things challenging because this new player is not necessarily very much used to defending with a colleague. Uh, you know, if, if you play the, the standard players who play, who train together all the times, um, it, it's different. So the constraint is also the, the goalkeeper. Miroslav is on that red uh, floor mark. Sometimes he'll be in the, in, in the goal. So that with a transition play, uh, ball travel is not the same uh, when, when there is a goalkeeper keeper versus no goalkeeper. 10 to 20% of the balls moving up happen when there is no goalkeeper. Some, and that is disruptive. When you're an attacker, it's very uh, disturbing. What do you do? Do you throw? Do you try to score? Or do you keep the ball as far as you can, knowing there is no keeper in the goal? So, five seconds to score. Allez, top. Play. Ça va, ça va, non, c'est mort, c'est mort, c'est mort, c'est mort. Keep playing. Vous gardez, top, 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 c'est mort. On joue pas là, on joue pas le retour. Hold on, hold on, sorry. Donc là, on a bien vu. Okay, so obviously attackers were trying to use a pivot and they were playing uh, around the uh, yellow jersey defender. It didn't work out, but it was worth trying. What's also interesting is that you don't systematically do the same thing time and again. Allez, jeu, 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 jeu. Sur nombre. Ils sont un de moins. Ok, they're one down. D'accord. Donc là, c'est exactement la fin. Good. So that's transition play. And again, what you want is to exploit what you just did in the previous action. So they came back very quickly. You know, knowing that the other team was one down. So if you look carefully, so far we had one shot on this side, missed one on the other side. So you really have to identify when the transition play is making sense, is going to pay off. If every single time you put continuity and you miss, well then there's no point. You know, if, if, if I'm the coach, I would say, guys, forget about it, stop. It, it's not working out. So you need to identify, do you continue or do you stop? In this case, I prefer to leave it up to the players. Instead of telling them what to do, I will. I want to let them decide. That decide. This is my personal decision as a coach. I'm not saying it's better. Um, I think you know there are different schools of thought. That it's certainly mine to let them play. Okay. Reposition. So this was a very interesting situation. 
Tommy, number two on the right, you were on the right, Romuald. It comes in at for a, a duel. And number three uh, is, and number two are not in agreement, and which opens a space. And in first division, this connection between player two and three doesn't exist in first division. So this is probably caused by either because they're not skilled enough or because they're not used to playing together. Wait. <laughs> Keep playing. Keep playing. Alex. Prise de risque, prise de risque, enchaîné, enchaîné. Allez, allez, allez. Ok, risk take. Keep playing. Exploitez ça. Go for it. Voilà, excellent. Excellent. On a parlé de la problématique de... So again, we talked about defending, defense efficiency while moving backwards as a defender, but the others are progressing. So the defenders here needed more depth, which is very difficult to get. So this was, you know, a very, uh, a very good move. Again, this involves risk taking. If you're shooting a meter above, well, then I would have said bad play. If it scored, then I would have said good play. Toujours un peu problématique ces situations. But knowing this player, I think it's a good choice. I know that at 10 meters, he is more likely to score than not score. Good job, Everest. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. Okay. They're outnumbered. They're outnumbered. Excellent. Perfect. That's good play. C'est là où il faut bien. So, once again, it is very important to analyze the context. You don't want to lock yourself into a situation. In this given situation, a player like Jean-Jacques or Raphael, who did, had a great ball here, right here, you could have said, okay, what do I do? Do I accelerate or not? Um, they know that if they can take the initiative, they should. So it's very contextual. Sometimes this will, you, you may lose the ball. Um, this uh, Raphael is 20, 20 or 21. Uh, I think he made the right choice at this point. He looks, um, he looks at the environment around him to, to, to make the right decisions. Pause, 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 Shui! Regarde ce qui se passe! Ball down, keep playing, keep an eye on the field. Okay, so we're in a learning setting and the yellow jerseys are really trying to score by all means and they lose the ball so then they drop the ball and then you get direct contact. What you don't, you don't necessarily want a, uh, an immediate counterattack. So try to organize yourselves to shoot within four, five seconds, even if you don't score. Uh, so that way you get, we get actual transition play. Go. Go, 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 go. Who's available? Next. C'est exactement la notion de prise de risque. That's the notion of risk taking. Risk taking. You know, people say that the players have to make a choice, but also the offensive project has to be consistent. Before we prepare a match, you know, uh, the one at the center, will we say, you know, this team has to take more risks for this type of pass to the pivot? That was interesting, you know, Nicola was there, the pass is there, but that's a binary thing, a binary combination. You get it and you can score. But if you miss, if you miss, what's going to happen then? That's the whole thing about this situation in this case. Jan, I suppose you agree with me, this is a bit risky. This is risky. And the defense, they were having their own crisis. You know, the, the leg work was not really good there. If he moves backward, I think we can find another situation that's better again later on. We'll see.